Hey guys, this is Lord Cirque again, again with a friend, and together we're going to review this Clone Walker Battle Pack set. Um, <clears throat> you may notice that from now on I'll uh, make every review with Lars at my side, um, on Skype of course, <clears throat> and, uh, and again he'll be adding a lot of comments. It's just so that you won't, uh, won't be a lot of extra information. Yeah, and so that you won't be run wondering. So from now on, Lars will be here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this little review is about the Clone Walker Battle Pack set. You all, you already know it comes with five, four minifigures, and it comes with a clone gunner with some quite good printing from 2008. Um, and then <clears throat> a regular clone. Phase one. Lars, could you please give us some information about the phase one trooper? Yes, uh, of course. The, it's not very uh, much difference between the phase one and the phase two. It's only the armor. The fa phase one armor you can recognize that the helmet look like a Mandalorian with that little um, tip sticking out from the back, like a little spike. If you can show that, Chris. Yes, I am. Good. <laughs> And of course, they were most likely equipped with um, the big laser cannon. I can't remember what it's called anymore. C15 or something. Uh, should stand somewhere here. <clears throat> uh, yes. Um, just to take the face, uh, face one armor, first of all, it's a bit thinner than. Um, than the phase two, and also the, um, it's you can't wear it except if you're a clone because it was it is made directly to them. It only fits on by uh, like Boba Fett, Jango Fett, and other clones of uh, Jango Fett. Mm. So in the theory, if it existed, we wouldn't be able to wear it. Yes, because it's made only for their body type. Actually, I think it's more like built for. Um, for Mandalorians. Yeah, well, but man, Jango Fett wasn't a Mandalorian. I know, but he's still fair. Everyone uh, think that's actually because um, because of his he's, Mandalorian. Uh, he's been raised in the way of the uh, of, um, of the Mandalorians. Of the Mandalorians trained from uh, trained from birth to fight. Uh, and he trained. Yeah. What the weapons are called, but I think it's C 15A or something. The guns are called the big ones they use on uh, in the movie number two Attack of the Clones, and then uh, later on in the Clone Wars, they be became, uh, got a smaller A 16C gun that is much, much smaller I thought... and is more unprecisely. I thought that the uh, that the longer gun from episode two was named the DC 17 Carbine. Yeah, I can't remember the name, but it's also called C15 and 16 and 18, okay. and so on. Okay. Um, but I can't remember. Okay, then we'll move on to a regular clone commander, or commando. Um, he's just like a regular clone, at least he's in Lego, with regular head, just like all the others. But he's got a visor, he's got his, uh, his skirt, and his pauldron. Um... And well, do you have anything to add? About the uh, commanders? Yeah. Well, a typical uh, commander, if you don't take the RSC commanders, an original commander was only designed to lead all the troopers with other the genes changed, so that the way to think uh, alone, independently from others. So they could plan tactics and uh, get out of tough situations where a normal clone couldn't think that far. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, and most, as we see on, um, of course, Captain Rex and Cody and other clone commanders and uh, captains, they have an other. Uh, they have most likely a helmet that would look like um, the second face of the clone trooper armor, with a sensor pointing up. Where they can switch to Nightwish and uh, other equipment inside the helmet. That's good. Well, 
Well, then I guess we'll skip on to the uh, to the manual um, or the instruction manual. It's very thin. There's nothing really to it. So yeah. Um, then there is the walker itself. The walker itself is very, very nice. Um, it's got a light turret in front, a light laser turret in front, and that's all the armament it has, except for those flick-firing missiles, which I think is supposed to be looking like concussion missiles. But, don't ask me, I don't really know. Um, grenade launcher? No, it's not a grenade launcher. It's meant to be like this. Come on. Uh, now, where was I? Uh, you were talking about the machine. Yeah, but I'm pretty much done with the machine. Other. Other than there are these uh, Republic symbols, um, and it's got some good detail, I'd say. Um, oh, well, that's pretty much it. Nah, yeah, there's not much on this. Nah, not really. But, well, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Um, go to Lars's channel, Slifer99. I've already spelled it in uh, two earlier reviews. But <clears throat> there you'll see a lot of, uh, there you'll see some other videos. Not exactly the same as mine, but it's still about Star Wars, so I think it'll, uh, I think it'll be interesting for you. <clears throat> well, anyway, I guess I'll see you later. Bye.